Can you believe that this man not only built his own airplane but also his own avionics? Welcome aboard! Meet Vlad. I met Vlad around two years ago when I was walking around the airport and I saw his hangars with the doors open and he was putting an airplane together. I saw a wing here, the body there, you know, everything was around the place. So I came to the door, introduced myself and he took me on a tour showing me what he was doing. He was very proud of what he was creating as he should. Take a look of the closest I've been to building my own airplane. It is a level five though. <laughs> it took me three years to build this uh, airplane. Love it very much and still working on it. Month by month, I saw the airplane coming together into pieces. And when he started flying and got his certification, he took me on a few flights. And now let's go. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. So I told him, man, anytime you need any help to test any systems, let me know. I'll come with you. I can fly while you test the stuff. And that's what we've done a few times. If you've ever been in an airplane, you know that a very important part of the airplane are its avionics and flight instruments. And those can be very expensive. I was looking into different options and I figured that any option I look into, which will suit my needs, will cost, say, third of the cost of the airplane. While knowing that I have a background in electronics and embedded development, I decided to try on my own to build something. At first, the idea was to build something just for his own airplane, the RV-10. I have a few videos about that aircraft. Links are down in the description, just in case you want to have a look. First installed in my own airplane. I start to fly my own airplane with those products. And I ended up having that as my own product, which I start to offer to others. So he opened the shop, 360 Avionics. This video is not sponsored and Vlad's not paying me to say any of this. I just asked him if he would like to be featured in the channel. He said yes. Uh, I've been in enough flights to see that the products work. He's currently uh, developing an autopilot. That's what we tested in the last video. The link's down there. And today I want to talk a little bit about the avionics he has on his plane and his shop. I don't have the products here with me, but I recorded a lot of videos at the airport flying. So I'm just going to put it all together right now. So at his hangar, Vlad showed me three different electronic flight instrument systems. First, we have the Mini Uni. And this is particular model 2. There is also model 3, which is same identical unit, just bigger. On top, you will have the ground track. You will have your altitude. You will have your GPS ground speed. As well, sleep skid indication at the bottom and the center. Pressure altitude at the bottom right. If you have a GPS, we are obviously indoors, so we don't have yeah. a GPS, but if you have a GPS, you will have here the ground speed information and it will match. Otherwise, right now, no GPS. So that's a main screen. Nice. By simple push on this button, you can switch to the compass screen. Compass screen, again, gives you basically ground track, which is, by the way, very precise if we talk about compass. And also you have option to use a magnetic deviation correction so basically uh, uh, you can just turn on that mode and instead of the instead of having ground track you will have your magnetic track and that's going to be very precise next screen you have standard times you have utc time local time flight time which is calculated as soon as you get airborne and you have a timer which, which you can run on and off depends on your um, on your needs plus you have always option here to warn you for switch fuel tanks. I did it separate from the menu. You can set up the period of time, let's say 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. And this device will give you a warning on the screen to switch fuel tanks every preset period of time. Sometimes it's very useful because many new pilots, including myself, were forgetting to switch a fuel tanks after some period of time. And in our airplanes, it's important to keep the airplane balanced. Next screen, we have a local time and flight time. It's like in bigger screen. Next screen shows a G meter. Well, again, it's a pretty standard G meter, which you can see. It's very useful if you want really see how you performing. If you do some aerobatics, you can really see. It will store the highest and lowest values during your flight. You can always reset it. You have the altitude separate screen and if your uh, EFIS is coupled with the voice information computer, you have option here to preset altitude hold mode. While you're flying, you push a button. If for any reason you start to deviate from your preset altitude, it will start to tell you. You have a dedicated 
display for speed but if you connect this device with voice computer you will get extra options here will start to tell you and warn you that your speed is speed is slow speed is too slow depends on the deviation from the speed you have of course you have a basic voltage information here which gives you the bus voltage bus voltage is basically the voltage which you supply this unit with at the moment uh, as, as a connection point and again we're coming back to primary HRS screen so that's basically the main functionality of this unit of course I have a little guy here sitting it's my backup guy which yeah. is small tiny I was planning to install here something bigger but I run out of space next up we have the ELM 350 very similar to the smaller one however much more powerful with advantage of the synthetic vision with advantage of the mapping software with advantage of the flight planning software and I forgot to say another important moment this EFIS and this EFIS can act as the altitude encoders so basically you just connect output to your Garmin or other brand uh, transponder and you can have your altitude encoding done inside of the EFIS that's more like a so-called G5 from yeah. Garmin but just a little bit more powerful it's now in demo mode so sorry for those glitches which comes here it's just because we don't have a gps antenna connected and yeah. we're in demo mode and now let's talk about the elm 1000 full functional efficient instrument which offers you i would say almost everything what currently um, available on the market efficient can do so this is a 10.1 inch display with touch screen the ELM-1000 is his top-of-the-line product. He has three of these in his airplane, which is really cool because you can put different things in different screens. Three thousand. Age RF system ready. Yeah, basically it right away warns you about the status of the system and tells you what's going on. On startup, that's what we see right away. Uh, we don't have a GPS, so obviously no yeah. map. Just show you like the gray, uh, gray area here. So usually on startup, I prefer to have this configuration where I have my full screen with all engine information here. Plus I have obviously the screen with engines here. When I'm approaching the run up, I immediately, first I check my weight and balance after I go to my checklist and I go through my checklist. So basically I go through my checklist pre-takeoff clearance received as soon as I'm done with my checklist here I go at landing lights on I normally return I made it like the iPad style so you can basically yeah. switch like this this is a screen I prefer always to keep on because it attracts my attention I can control all the params nevertheless to say if this guy goes down for any reason this will take over immediately so this guy will immediately take over and will start to show me my horizon and all the information on this one. Otherwise, it stays in this mode. So if I, for example, if I shut down this one now, it will immediately switch to the uh, to this mode right away. Nice. So, so these are three of the same mode though. Absolutely. Yeah. They're identical. They're connected together in the back with the same bus system. Yeah. Like for example, here I can set up my COM frequencies for my COM radio, COM1, COM2. So I can always uh, like the transfer frequencies be between them. So you see, I can switch. Now we go back to one, two, three, like tower and ground. Yeah. So that's useful. If, for example, I'm flying to some airport, Langley airport, we can always click on the airport we can get some information about the airport small airport its coordinates elevation blah 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 we can see runways of this airport if they have a lighting night lighting again weather but for canada unfortunately we don't have a weather at airports unless yeah. we unless adsb will provide us with that for us we have it and it's cool we have a frequencies so let's say for example i need to listen to langley 80s so I basically push this button and you can see right away in my radio, I just got this one, two, four decimal five, oh, that's zero, nice. zero. <laughs> or let's say um, I need to tell them I'm going to enter their airspace. I click here and I get my frequency right away here. That's really cool. Yeah. So that's something, you know, it's more about convenience. It's convenience and safety for me. So that's, that's really that's cool. how it, it works. Plus you can control autopilot third-party autopilots with this and with this uh, models 
So basically it has standard enemy output, which will be controlling the autopilot in lateral mode. So basically you can steer left and right. Obviously I have my own autopilot um, option, which is coming very soon. Right now it's under tests. And this autopilot will allow you to have altitude, heading control, the uh, your, your uh, damper control, plus you will be able to do some certain things like you can only control altitude while steering or you can only control heading while your altitude is up to you to what to choose. You will have a, like emergency leveling system, you will have your envelope protection system that's coming. This is a product which I constantly work right now on, like which I'm full time on right now. I hope in a couple of months I will be able to present that autopilot product and that will fill up the line of the products. So it's going to be EFIS, it's going to be engine monitoring system, voice control system, compass and autopilot. So that should make a line of products completed for basic installation in the uh, in the airplane. Autopilot controls right now are done from touch menu but some people say it's not very convenient you know like when you want to set up something with knobs here so my plan is to have separate dedicated autopilot panel as well. Yeah. So I will I plan to change a little bit here my configuration but beside that my avionics have lots of little products which are on the back end so basically which you don't see but which does the job so yeah. as for example engine monitor that's the model which you connect with all your engine sensors and this model allows you to basically read information from your engine so like like a heartbeat for the human right you read all information from the engine and you transmit it and this information can be read by this product, by this product, and even by this product. So I decided why not to build some little box which will make some annunciation to me, like some standard phrases. Switch fuel tanks. That's something you want to have, like, because when pilot flies, he's focused on flying. He, his eyes are outside, unless you do, of course, different type of flying, like instrument flying, but otherwise your eyes are outside. You, of course, looking at the instruments, but if something happens, sometimes you need to be immediately aware of it. Like, you can fly, and if something starting to happen, you need to catch beginning of that situation. Then you probably can have more time to deal with that, rather than you catch it at, at the very end. This box can work with any EFIS I have. This box allows you to connect your audio panel or headphones directly to any EFIS for basic voice information. Yeah. So while we're talking at some point, as soon as traffic appears, in demo mode traffic appears every like 45 seconds, it will start to talk with us and tell us Traffic, 4 o'clock, same altitude. So basically yeah. immediate warning for traffic. This one here is it's super old. This model is two years old, particular, and it's only sit here just to test it for temperature. Like I, okay. I shut it down internal cooling, so it's like about 60 degrees hot, and I'm just trying to kill this unit. Okay. My whole idea is to see. Let me know if you can. <laughs> yeah, but so far, second year in a row, it's still alive. I mean, nice. so it's just ro robustness testing. Yeah. Like everything I manufacture, I have to do the tests final test and it's not only like visual testing you basically have to really test test of course i cannot freeze in the freezer every unit or i cannot make every unit tested in vibration equipment just because there is no point to do that what i do is um, first of all you have to keep the same manufacturing process and you do you take you pick let's say one unit from manufacturing process and you do full spec of testing on it and you just see how that unit behaves if that unit behaves we can assume that while we keep the same manufacturing process all other units will behave in the same way so that's my approach to that i set up qc a uh, quality control uh, at my production line which allows me to be sure that the products i manufacture match with the expectations of the customer and match with the specific obviously manufacturing uh, process requirements uh this this type of equipment the EFIS and everything is it for vfr flight only or are you people allowed for IFR? Right, right now products do not have 
WAAS GPS system yet. I'm working on that and eventually at some point my products will be able to be used as IFR primary. Right now it's IFR backup. So in order to use my office as a primary you need external WAS source. And do you provide assistance installing this uh, in people's airplane if they need? I can do installation here yeah. at our local base here in Pit Meadows. Uh, otherwise, installation will be up to the um, up to the uh, person. But if person is able to fly down here, yes, absolutely, I'm I'm willing to help. Installation is not different from any other particular avionics installation so basically everything I, I i'm trying to document everything to make it easy for the customer to to get used to it i'm always open to answering technical questions so basically i my my goal is to provide as much as i can help and support to customer so customer will be aware of all information he needs for installation of course i always recommend uh, to use services of specialist uh, just for safety it's an airplane it's not a vehicle like, un unless you are uh, you know what you do and you have an experience with that but otherwise installation of this avionics is no different from any other avionics so wiring is a standard i usually use all mil spec wires for my installations okay and um, so if people want to find the products and their specifications and the features everything on your website absolutely they can always directly ask me a questions uh, via my Instagram if they want, uh, Vic X Ray. If you don't mind to share my Instagram, oh, yeah. I'll add it. And uh, I have a YouTube channel in English dedicated to my airplane build, and it also covers the avionics part. So I will give you as well a link to my YouTube channel. They can look at basically YouTube channel about how I was building my airplane, but with the same time there is some information about avionics. And uh, otherwise, I'll be happy to answer questions through my website, through email or any other means like Instagram, any other means of communication. I'm open to discuss. I have a phone number as well on my website. People can call me from any part of the world. All right. And we're going to come up with a code for, for people watching this video. Absolutely. And using that promotion code, you will get a discount while purchasing the uh, avionics products from my online store sounds good that's awesome so hopefully in a few days we can fly and test a little bit more of the system i'm sure we will do we will, everyone our will next like flight should be dedicated to autopilot testing and most likely it's going to happen within next days and you will be the witnesses all right thank you so much Vlad. thank I'll you guys see you next time thank you so if you want to see more videos of me flying on his rv10 just make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything if you're thinking about building an experimental airplane or you already have one and you want to upgrade your avionics, check his website out and see if one of these products would fit your airplane. I'm sure it will, but you know, just have a look. And if you do want to buy one of his products, you can use the code FLYWITHPEDRO for some discount. I'll put more information down in the description. Just make sure to subscribe to the channel because sooner or later I'll be in the air again with his plane. All right. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Switch fuel tanks. Fuel pressure stable. Fuel flow goes down, now goes up back. Fuel pressure is stable. Fuel flow is stable. Safe.